this tutorial is about drawing figures, simple drawing figures. Um, and when you're measuring a, a, the head to the, to the length of the body, it should be about nine heads from the top to the bottom. Otherwise it'll look like um, a comic cartoon, you know, so, something like that. So here we are, I'm going to measure out on a straight line around about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the head should fit here in the top one there, around about that. You might have to, once you get the full um, body in there, you might have to make it a little bit larger, but it's always better to do it smaller first, because uh, you can always make that bigger. Uh, the next thing which is important is to get the the shoulders to run about the right width uh, otherwise that head will look too big and the 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 body will look too uh, skinny so here we are we've drawn the torso and now the bottom there where the uh, where the legs will be just there uh, Adjusted, making slight adjustments now as to where the head should be. That's going to be the neckline and the underside. This is only a rough guide. You let the painter do the, the drawing. So first of all, we're going to mix a little bit of Opera Rose into the palette and add a bit of yellow as well, can be yellow. So just drop in a little bit of colour here. Bring it down to the neckline, show where the hands will be and that should be, that should be all, all we need at the moment. Now we're going to identify the body. So, well, first of all, just take off a little bit of that excess water. The light's coming from the left, so create a highlight on the left hand side of the face. Now, add a little bit of colour. I have to be too careful with this and then some dark I'm using a bit of paint grey there just to show where they, the legs will be make the legs fatter if needed and so we're not kept faithfully to those lines we've just used those lines as a guide So that's your first wash really. Um, just lifting a bit of colour off there, a little bit of pigment out there because the light is going to be shining from our left. And putting where the eyes would be, adding where the hands are. there you go and let that dry now from the side angle it would just be a we're just following the same rules but looking from the side now 
just put a bit of a blob for his head and we tend to put our heads forward a little bit it's almost like a, a very thin backward S shape Oh, he's got his hands in his pockets. Just extended that face a little bit more, put a bit of a forehead in there. We'll do some smaller characters just to show a simplified, a more simplified um, set of characters. Something you'd see more in a distance. So there's less detail with these, but it's still easy to do the same. See, same process, adding some heads in and a little bit of neck work, adding a bit of top half and when you're putting two characters together don't separate them too much when it comes to cl uh, the clothing let the clothing bleed into each other and it just feels better to the eye bringing this down now Use their dark colour, fetching some legs down to look like big bandy cowboy legs, these are, aren't they? Well, that's a female, so those legs are a little bit more spindly. I'll put a shadow in over there. Right, we'll let that dry. Okay, so now we start to put a little bit of shadow in, in these characters. As you'll see that they've dried much lighter than they were originally painted on the first pass. So now this is the part where you can identify the shadows, and the shapes. So each, each time you, you put a character in, it should have like two layers at the very least, just to give it a little bit of depth. <coughs> I think that'll do for him. And this character I'm just going to... Put a little bit of detail around his head. So that's his hair, he's got a very high forehead. And now we just add in a little shape to that um, that body. That's all you need really these characters here same thing just a little bit of detail on the the shadow side so 
there you go and that is really all you need to do for painting figures it's nice and simple I hope you enjoyed it